Okay, here I am doing the tutorial for the Dead Eye badge. It's like one of the hardest badge I had to fucking get, man. As you can see right there, I let the defender got get close to me and pretty much pulled in his face. I watch I watch a couple of video on YouTube, Pretty Boy Fredo video and um, Oprah side nigga. That's the homie was cool too. He explained it right, but the thing is, um, I had it on Superstar and Hall of Fame. It took me a while, but I did it a couple of times. I was wondering what I was doing wrong, but it's, it's like basically the way I feel. You have to get the badges. You have to mix it up. It's not only that that um stop in half court like this one right here and then wait for him to do that animation thing and pull it cuz it don't it don't count all the time as a some contested jump like shot. Cuz it took me a while to realize that cuz I was I, I kept doing it like since the playoff from last season like I'm like why am I not getting this badge? I did it for like 20 games straight, but as you can see right there, I did a pull-up jump shot. It's like it's harder to make the pull-up jump shot. They always contested the, the pull-up jump shot, so I figured like let me try try to mix it up. So basically, I I think this game, uh, yeah, there you go. That's one right there. All right, let me try the other method. Basically, that's what I that's what I'm doing the whole video right there. I'm just gonna mix it up. The whole video, I'm just gonna mix it up. I'm gonna do the pull up. I'm gonna come down his face. But the thing is, I think the further away you are when you're doing um the the thing when you get the animation. Of course, I'm pulling. F for the people that don't know, these also count as um dead eye toward the. Dead eye badge because it's like a contested jump shot too. As you can see, I'm I'm doing it over and over and over. Yeah, by the way, it's on rookie casual. Cause I did like I think I did like my. F my first eight nine game of the season, I was playing on Superstar, but it was good. I cannot hit a pull up jump shot like these. It, I could do the other little studded step jump shot, but as you can see right there, that's a perfect example right there. He contests the shot, and all you need is a hundred I mean, contested jump shot to do this, man. You can see I'm trying the other method. Those work, but you can't get you can't get that close. I don't think that really count though. Pull up in his face. Yep. I'm gonna show you again how he contests the shot. That really count as a contested jump shot, cause. Okay, as you can see. All right, let me try the other method now. This also worked, but it's not, like I realize, it's not going to count all the time. But you do need a 100 contested jump shot. But the thing is, people keep saying, like, yo, they did it, like, over and over and over, like, 30, 20 games. But I'm telling you guys, I realize it. I'm, like, I realize I was doing something wrong. Not all of them going to, I mean, count as a contested jump shot. It might look like a contested jump shot, but, like... As you get closer, like right here, I start doing it from half court. Right here, I think those count as contested jump shot. For some reason, it, it counts toward the dead eye badge because, cause I try, I try, I try over. Even outside of my playing room, I pick somebody that have dead eye and like test it out. As you can see right there, I hit the jump shot. Basically, all I'm saying is just mix it up. Like for those for those 20 game, I think it probably take take most like certain people it take more games. But for me, 
I think it only took me like 12 games, but I my best thing is like like you should try this for 20 games straight. And I play six minutes a quarter, so you could easily do like you know 20 games. It's like mad quick. What I did is I put some music on it, just like keep doing it over and over till I get the shit right, man. Take me forever though, but I finally figured it out. You, just like I said, man, you just gotta keep mixing it up. You go, you're gonna see at, at the end of this game. I make sure I record the whole process too. Like. I, I'm not saying I record the whole 12 game I play. I did record, but ain't no point putting that in the video. But this is the video I got dead eyed. This is the game I mean. Like right here too. You could do this too. Like I wait for him. Yeah, that pump fake shit. Yeah, I know it don't work, but sometimes yeah, he got close. He got very close right there, and he changed my animation for a little bit. Get that, get that. God damn it. But my method is you could do you could do it both ways. You could um do it like these guys be doing it. But on Hall of Fame or Superstar, it's gonna be very hard to hit that pull up jump shot. So your best bet is to put it on rookie or pro casual. It don't matter. I thought it mattered about the difficulty, but it, I don't think so. Because this game right here, I got it on rookie. You're going to see. The end of the game, coach pulled me out. All right. As you can see, I'm waiting right here. That's all I've been doing. All, all the 12 games I've been playing. Just waiting for that loading screen. Right. Where is that? Yep, right here. I was mad height <laughs> when I got this badge. Like you're gonna see at the end of the video, this shit loaded right now. I'm gonna show you everything I did. I'm gonna show you how many, how long the quarter was, and it was on rookie casual. As you can see on top of the screen, it's my record. My team record is 13 and 0. That means it took me 13 games to get that eye. 13. Some people claim they got it in four or whatever, but I play a couple of games. It's not because I play in six minute quarters. I like I play a couple of games. At least I play like at least six games, seven games on Hall of Fame. Seven games on Hall of Fame, like 12 minute, 12 minute quarter. So it's not really, I, I don't really think it's about um how long the quarter is, whatever. Cause that shit is too boring, man. Cause I know I shot a lot of bricks, but it's impossible. Just like I say, the running jump shot is impossible to hit it on Superstar Hall of Fame. So I think the last three or four games, I put it down to rookie casual. Because I figured that's the only way I'd be able to do it. As you can see, I'm upgrading Deadeye right now. I want this shit to save. Because I think I lost a signature badge like that. I they save one of them. I'll turn off the Xbox. As you can see right here, it's on Rookie Casual. I'm changing it. The game, my game seat was 75. I, I, I don't like playing with the shot meter. Alright, everything is back to normal. Alright, this is me playing um, a quick game. Testing out the method. Right there, as you can see, I did a running jump shot. A running pull up, if you want to call it, whatever. They showed me the dead eye pop in. Look at this method. This is the method when you, when you walk on, when you get that little animation, whatever. You see? Dead eye did not show up. That means you can't get that close. Look again. Give, give it back, give it back, give it back. I missed that time. Come on, Kobe. You're supposed to hit that. You see? All I got this time was microwave. I didn't really get it. I think you have to be further. Like, I think, it's, I think it might be around a circle. There you go. 
microwave. Nope, I still didn't get it. Alright, let's try again. Right here. Microwave. Dead eye. You see? I think it's around the circle. I'm gonna do it again. Actually, from the three point line. You see? It worked right there, too. I think you have to be outside that little circle by the free throw line, at least. That's what I think. They go to pull up. The pull up always work as dead eye. That's why I mixed it up. I do both. I think it's good to do both in a game. You might just do ten of each if you feel like it. See, they work as a dead eye. Keep doing that walking thing. Sometimes it count. I think the closer you get, it don't really count. Pull up. Dead eye. Every time I do the pull up, I always get the dead eye. Just make sure you don't get that close though. Alright, that's it for this video, man. Don't forget to hit the like button. And if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Peace.